All right, so the next thing we are going to go over is a situation where we need to register some uh, some sale. So assuming we've helped one of our customers um, setting up something or maybe uh, done some consulting for them or uh, spent some time uh, at uh, advising them on, on a particular matter. Uh, and we want to register this uh, to our chart of accounts or our GL. So it's not it's not an item sale, so we don't really want to use this um, account here, which was used for when we sold uh, items. So we want to start by creating a new sales account here, and we'll call it 3020, like this, and we'll call it um, consulting services. So it's an income statement. Um, we need to be able to uh, post to it. Credit, debit, credit, both is fine. And then we come down to the posting tab again. And we need to indicate the general posting type to be a sale. And um, the business posting group is not necessary because this will come from our customer when we raise the sales invoice. But we do need to specify a general product posting group. So we have books and, exp uh, and expenses. But I think we should actually rename this one um, to be expenses so that we can use it, use it for both expenses and, and sale. Because in the end, it's not really used for anything uh, when you just register sale and, and, uh, and cost expenses like that. It would be used though if you, tr if you try to use uh, or if you use um, discounts uh, when you raise the, 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 the invoice. But anyways, let's try to uh, rename this one. So we go to advanced and let's click edit list and then we'll give this one a slash and then say sale like this. So it asks us, asks us if we want to rename it and yes we do want to do that and then we will also put the same over here. Of course you can give you can give this uh, product posting group something more uh, meaningful to you if you want to. But we'll click OK and um, the general posting uh, product posting group is set up now. So the next thing we need to take care of is the VAT. And once again, the VAT business posting group doesn't need to be set up on the GL account because it will come from our customer account when we raise the sales invoice. But we do need to set up the VAT product posting group. And it just so happens, again, that uh, consulting services are normal VAT. So we'll choose the one we, al we already have. And we'll click OK. And this should really do it for the setting up the, 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 char the, the chart in our chart of accounts, so the, the account. So next we will go to our sales, invoices, and we'll raise a new one. And we'll have to give it a manual number. I'll just give, no, this, this is fine. And then we'll set the sell to customer to our domestic, which is the only one which is properly set up. It'll just give us a, a, a credit limit, um, just basically just saying that this particular customer owes us uh, some money. Um, and we'll just say yeah, it's it's fine. We trust them to to be able to pay us. We will we would want to to raise the sales invoice either uh, anyways. So you click yes, and then on the, on the lines here, instead of clicking item as we uh, did when we set up when we were trading items, you would again click or select the GL account here, which. Um, means that when you select or use the drop down from the number column here you'll get a list of your GL accounts. And we'll navigate to the, the sales account we just set up right now, which was called Consulting Services. So you'll choose that one. And location code will be, will be left blank and quantity will be one. Um, and we will say that we did consulting worth $500 uh, or pounds. So, Let's just have a look at this uh, statistics window because in the statistics window we'll see um, some different information or uh, more information about this uh, sales invoice. 
This statistics window is also available from the purchase invoices. But what I like to do before I post a, a invoice, that being a sales invoice or a purchase invoice, is you just click statistics and verify that uh, the VAT looks, uh, looks good or looks fine. So basically it's saying here that the total of the invoice is 500 and that it uh, intends to top it up with um, 100 worth of VAT, which is fine. So I'll click OK and then we'll try to post it. There we go. So it went through and we can then navigate to uh, posted sales invoices. And we will see our second posted sales invoice lying here and if we let's let's navigate as we usually do and we'll confirm that the GL entries looks as as we expect them or we want them to so we've had a sale of five hundred um, dollars and um, we expect our customer to pay us six hundred soon and of those six hundred we need to uh, pay one hundred to the tax authorities so this looks fine um, obviously in the, in the navigate window here we've got um, some other entries uh, just as expected. We've got a VAT entry which will be used uh, later for reporting VAT. Um, by the way I have another video which goes thoroughly into the VAT um, setup and uh, how to handle VAT. So if you want a more in-depth explanation about uh, VAT in NAV you should watch that one. But um, all in all, this looks fine. We've got a customer ledger entry as well, which we need to, um, to manage our cash receipts later on.